Today we are talking about AI-based seismic impedance inversion. I will show you how advanced neural network architecture gives better results than model-based and data-driven inversion. My name is Ruslan and I'm here to help you learn machine learning in oil and gas. It is widely known that seismic impedance inversion can be used for reliable forecasting of reservoir properties and assisting in stratigraphic interpretation. Unfortunately, calculating impedance can be challenging. Obviously, you know, there are model-based approaches that make an assumption that there are some deterministic relationship between the seismic data and inversion target, but they don't do a good job of bringing out small details. Most of the time, they provide you with smooth solution that require you to solve optimization problem which takes considerable time. And there is other problem with them. The wavelet is frequently unknown and is challenging to measure because it changes rapidly through time and space. Impedance estimation is a highly nonlinear problem with huge uncertainty due to a number of factors. And because you are watching machine learning channel and AI based deep learning methods are likely to give better estimate of the complicated and nonlinear relationship that we find with seismic impedance inversion. But still, even though AI-based solutions have shown promise, they are constrained on a number of available label data. And we have a problem here. We have only a few data available for inversion training. That is because of a number of factors. First, it's highly expensive to drill wells and there is a difficulties in acquiring the logging parameters. So, currently there is not enough data to fully utilize AI for seismic inversion. Therefore, it's important to enhance AI generalization capabilities in order to train the network on a few data that we have. In this research, the author suggested a method for seismic impedance inversion based on 1D cycle consistent generative adversarial network, which is effective even when a few label data available. Just a quick recap. Generative adversarial networks are used for data generation. Let's take for example this site. This person does not exist. That is the work of GAN. And it's basically consists of two networks. In our case, generator consists of forward and backward convolution neural networks, where forward represents the seismic forward simulation, and the backward convolutional network models the process of seismic inversion. Please take a note here. The low frequency model is still a requirement in order to facilitate the inversion process. Discriminator is the last part of the puzzle that checks to see if generator made the results that are good enough to be mistaken for real. And in our case we have two discriminators. They tested the network on synthetic data. Therefore, labeled traces are placed here, whereas the remaining traces are considered to be unlabeled and needs to be predicted. And it's cool that they even compare the results with other machine learning methods. We can see that cycle GAN based inversion outperforms competing convolutional neural networks and model based inversions. Then the predicted seismic impedance profile is used to rebuild seismic image. If the inverted impedance correct, then the reconstructed seismic should match well with the synthetic seismic image. If we look here at the reconstruction errors, we can find that the proposed network has the best result. Alright, stop messing around with synthetic data. Let's move to a more concrete example with real field data. They use the 2D seismic profile shown in here. The traces here are near well traces, whose target impedance can be calculated from well logging data. Trace at CDP 489 is used as a blind well for quantitative evaluation of inversion results. The inversion with the proposed method are more continuous and cleaner than those of alternative approaches. Take a note of the black circles in the figure. It's clear that the Inversion results of AI-based methods are significantly more accurate than the results of model-based inversion on the labeled near well traces. And finally, we can look at the reconstructed seismic image that was calculated from the predicted impedance. In case you are interested in learning more about AI application for velocity inversion, I have very good video for you in here, where I review non-geophysics papers on the seismic inverse problems. I really enjoy reviewing these kind of papers. If you are the author, or you know an interesting and open ML paper in oil and gas, reach out to me. See you at the next one.